Almost 14 hours ago, Ethiopian federal government announced unilateral ceasefire in Tigray views. Since then, we have been waiting for an official statement from TPLF side. Now, TPLF has issued an official statement. Colonel Gabre, spokesperson of TDF, has also spoken. What are Colonel Gabre and other uh, TPLF and TDF uh, members saying about Ethiopian government's announcement of ceasefire? Let's have a look at first Colonel Gabre's uh, uh, talk views. Colonel Gabre says that uh, this success of TDF uh, in terms of capturing Mac and other, other towns and cities of uh, Tigray, it's due to Operation Alula. In 10 days of this operation, Colonel Gabriel says that uh, around uh, 6,000 uh, soldiers of Ethiopian National Defense Forces have been taken prisoner and 33,000 have been killed in the last 10 days. Then he uh, gave a list of uh, the equipment of Ethiopian National Defense Forces which has been seized and destroyed by Tigray Defense Forces. The equipment includes uh, Heutzers, uh, anti-craft guns, ZU-23-2, mortars, uh, several types of sniper rifles, other Kalashnikovs and ammunition. So he says that uh, in the last 10 days, Tigray Defense Forces have broken the bone of uh, Ethiopian National Defense Forces. And lastly, he said, this resistance will go on until our national pride is restored and our freedom is guaranteed. Now, what about uh, the statement issued by TPLF, official statement? Official statement mentions four important points. Firstly, it appreciates TDF. It says that uh, this victory, resounding victory uh, in the form of capturing of Makale, it's due to heroic efforts of Tigray Defense Forces, uh, uh, which launched Operation Alula. Secondly, the statement says that Tigray Defense Forces are conducting comprehensive and thorough mop-up operations. It means fighting is under. Thirdly, it says that retreating armies uh, are likely to commit crimes, to commit atrocities against the people uh, of Tigray. And uh, fourthly, uh, last important thing the statement mentions is that people and TDF, they must stay vigilant in order to make Tigray fully free of all invading forces. So because these two statements are abundantly clear that Tigray defense forces uh, have rejected unilateral ceasefire announced by Ethiopian federal government a few hours ago. TDF want all armies out of Tigray first. Ethiopian National Defense Forces, uh, uh, Aratian Forces, Regional Forces of Amhara. As I said, TDF wants uh, restoration of Tigray's border uh, as Tigray's border stood on the 4th of November. That is why TDF is saying that mop-up operations are underway. This fight will go on. I was hoping that TDF would uh, lay out some conditions. Uh, it would uh, accept the ceasefire offer conditionally. It would give some sort of... Uh, a time frame, a, a deadline for Aratian END from Amhara forces to withdraw from Tigray. But TDF uh, do not want to lose this momentum which they have now. That is why they, they do not want to implement ceasefire. Fighting is underway. TDF are trying to push all the armies out of Tigray. Secondly, pressure 
is now going to build upon Ethiopian army. Now supporters of uh, Ethiopian government, they are putting the entire blame on Ethiopian army. Behano Jula could be the casualty of this fall of Macalevius. Uh, now Ethiopian government supporters say that it was uh, Ethiopian army which miscalculated, which misguided Ethiopian government. Ethiopian army chief was saying that TPLF leaders were on the run. But look, they have captured Macalev. So it means that uh, there was serious flaws in military strategy of Ethiopian army. Ethiopian army is now being blamed for this debacle. They are calling it debacle viewers. So in coming days, uh, we'll see more pressure upon Ethiopian army. And uh, we might see some key figures uh, resigning like uh, Bacha Dable and uh, Birhan Jula, especially Birhan Jula, head of Ethiopian army. Uh, Army viewers. International community is pressing for a ceasefire. We have heard statements from uh, several uh, diplomats from several bodies. They are calling for implementation of a unilateral ceasefire announced by Ethiopian government. Now, what will TPLF do? I think in coming days, TPLF will have to listen to international community. TPLF uh, will have to agree to this ceasefire conditionally. It would be a good move, a diplomatic move, uh, to accept the ceasefire and uh, lay out some conditions uh, that if these conditions are met, will implement ceasefire. If these conditions are not met, will keep on fighting. So it might happen in uh, coming days, but so far uh, the two statements indicate that Tigray Defense Force do not want to lose the momentum that they have gained. They want to keep on fighting. Instead of issuing statements for implementation of ceasefire, I think international community must play a proactive role now. This is the time when mediation can start. Uh, there must be uh, neutral mediators between Tigray Defense Forces and uh, between TPLF and Ethiopian government. This is the time, viewers. If this time is lost and uh, an other uh, phase of this fighting start, starts, it will continue for uh, coming months. This is the right time for international community to intervene, uh, to mediate to make all the forces leave Tigray and to start talks. Just issuing statements won't solve this problem, viewers. Uh, thank you for watching.